Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you a quick close-up of Hazel. Uh, she is doing good, however, I was at work one day and Oreo decided to try and sleep in the pot with her. Dug up some of her dirt. Um, I'm going to have to add more dirt to the pot soon. Um, but she is doing pretty good. Her highest, let me see. Her highest uh, point right now comes to like right there. Um, I did put one of those spikes in for a uh, nutritional like supplement for the plants. And I'm going to be looking for a bigger pot to put her in. I want to say sometime in June will be the last time I'm going to transplant her. And uh, then she should be able to really, really grow and uh, potentially get to about two feet tall. And that's as big as she'll get. But anywho, let's go see what's going on with the garden. All right, this right here is catnip. And I'm actually gonna be picking that very soon. Ooh, there's a wasp on it. I'm gonna be picking that very soon and I'm going to be uh, drawing it out. I can grind it up and my cats will have fresh catnip. That there, oh, get away from me, is uh, Moonflower or Morning Glory. I'm not sure which one. I planted a seed of each, but only one came through so far, I believe. Um, whatever one it is, I'm going to train it to wrap around the plant stand. And then I may put another one in this pot once I'm done with the catnip. A different pot. If you see it's cracked, puppies chewed on it. And I'm getting into this in a moment. This is what's left of my herb garden in pots because these culprits right here chewed my pots and ruined some of the herbs I was growing. They also started messing around, get out of there with my garden. Now right here is, if I can get out of the sun, I transplanted the mini tomatoes that I had. They were in a pot. I put them in the ground. They're doing pretty good. I have to water them so now the puppies originally did dig up some of my sunflowers that were growing here so I had to replant same ones all over again they're starting to come through I got some sunflowers coming back through here again and over here I uh, had to plant new ones uh, yeah they really irritated me with that and uh believe me i was furious with that now the ones back here are good uh i have two more spots right there and i have one over here these ones are growing super super crazy now what I'm going to do with all of them, either Dollar Tree or Dollar General. If I go Dollar General, I'm going to pay like $2 for them. I'm going to get some of that plastic fencing. It's very similar to the one that Dollar Tree carries. Uh, I made jewelry uh, organizers with them. Well, I'm going to be, since they're very vendable, Securing my sunflowers with them probably within the next week. Now here's my radish. Now they were not dug up by the dogs. Uh, there is actually a few of them that we figure are ready to actually pick. They're bursting through the ground and they're pretty darn big. Now this one here with the flower on. I used to usually wait until they got to that state to harvest them. We tried three. We took three out of the ground. 
they were close to being ready. Um, still had a teeny little bit of a woody taste, Ron, Ronnie said. So, I planted more radish seeds in ground there. Spinach wasn't dug up by the dogs, but I can't really say that it's growing anyways great for me either. Um, I don't really know what to say. It may take a while. I don't know. I may actually put a few more spinach seeds right up there on the top and see what happens. Now the kale was messed by the pups. And I did plant some extra kale seeds back here and in the front. They aren't coming through yet, but they should be. They also dug, and I was very upset, where I had the orange and my jalapeno peppers here. Um, I had to replant some, so there's a little bit starting to come through here, but irritated me nonetheless um, with these dang puppies. I had to replant some of this too. Uh, I believe this was zucchini, I think. And they had dug some of that up, so I had to replant um, some of that as well. And here is my yellow squash. They didn't bother with that, thank goodness. My chili peppers. Um, there's a few coming through. Really taking their sweet time, I don't know why. Green onion, not necessarily growing the fastest either. Um, I don't know. I'm just keeping an eye on on that to see. My cucumbers, I got a few, you know, coming through that are uh, doing pretty good. So I'm keeping an eye on them. Another thing I'm not sure about right now is broccoli. Um, that tends to be taking its sweet nature time as well. I never grew broccoli before, so I really don't know. Uh, a little bit of it popping through. I don't really know how, you know, how it's going to grow for me. Again, this is like an experiment because I never grew a garden before in South Carolina, so I'm learning as I'm going what does and doesn't grow good here. Here is my wax beans, and you'll see I have trellises here. And I have to get more. I'm going to be uh, training them to grow with the trellises like I did back in PA. Here's uh, pole beans. Now this is lettuce. Um, again, I have more planted there. Taking the sweet nature time. Here is some of the chili pepper. Red and jalapeno pepper mixed in right there. Uh, and uh, they're growing really really good um, I'm gonna be putting the trellises in there carrots for over here finally starting to come through not a lot yet but there should be these are lima beans this is pea pea plants coming through good we got green beans over here I planted uh, this uh, Asian kind of pepper, I believe it's called daddle or dadle, and I threw in some green pepper seeds as well. I also have some mustards here. Uh, mustard greens are supposed to be good and healthy for you, so we'll see how they grow. Now I just did this plot today. This is Luffa. And Luffa, the cool thing about Luffa, I watched a video of a girl who actually grew it. You let it grow all summer. And uh, essentially you let the plant dry out. Uh, you can harvest it after first frost, I believe. And if you cut the dried out skin and everything off of it, you have the lupa sponges inside. You could use them for dishes. You could use them for showering and bathing. Um, they're really, really good. Really good to uh, have. And they last a while. They're all natural, so yeah. 
So I'm a little irritated because of the pups ruining my garden and I had to replant something to set me back a little bit. Whoop, B. Uh, over here I have a uh, moonflower and uh, morning glory planted. And I have some over there on that along that other side of the fence. They're starting to uh, starting to come through pretty good. I'm really going to have to do something as far as fencing, like I said, with my garden. Um, trellises are going to be good for most of the plants. Um, I definitely think that. The pups get caught up on the trellis. They're not going to be so keen to mess around with it. Uh, Yeah, I have a little bit of laundry hanging out. I uh, just decided to take advantage of the uh, beautiful sunny day. And I washed a few things that were light um, out by hand. And uh, let, them, um, let them dry, you know, air dry. Yes, that's my unmentionables. I was just too lazy to actually walk over and uh, throw a load in the washer. I'll save that for heavy stuff. Light stuff, I can wash my hand actually. Save on electric. Here's my little bird feeder. I'm actually going to go in and get some more seed. But there has been a bunch of cardinals in the morning. Come there and eat. And, uh, What's really nice about it is the fact that they're pairs. Now, it is hot as all hell today. It's a beautiful day, though. Um, I'm heading back here because I want to show you guys something I did. Now that it's cooling down a little bit. Don't mind me, I am like so congested. My nose has been running all stinking day. I think it has to do with being in Pennsylvania. Um, the difference in the air. I don't really know. But I want to show you what I got inspired to do here. Uh, this is away from the actual garden. Uh, there's my morning glory and moonflower. Can't wait till they get bigger so they can go climb on the uh, on the fence. What you're looking at here, you see all them wooden branches. Obviously, I dug them all out with a shovel. This is going to be my herb garden. It is conveniently far enough away from the regular garden that it will get sun but also some shade and I'm going to have like a little bit of all the herbs I have growing in here and I want to see if I can get some flat stones and start decorating it making a little stone border going around it but that's going to be my herb garden I just literally finished that I want to say about a half hour ago. Now I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to enlarge it there a little bit. I turned around and redid. The writing. On most of. Most of the markers. Like I said. You know certain things here. I don't know yet. How they're going to grow for me. I may think something isn't growing good right now. But boom. Uh, it could grow like mad crazy, you know. This is a trial and error uh, thing for me. There you could tell where the puppies had dug, and I uh, tried to fill that in somewhat. And like with the spinach here, I added extra seed. The kale. I added extra seed as well 
um, I don't know, you know, we'll just see as time goes on what happens.